Welcome, welcome, my viewers and my listeners. This is Pastor Florence, all the way from Minnesota, USA. And today is when I bring you celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. The guiding scripture today will be John 15, verse 16, and I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. In this kitchen, not a show off, but I want somebody somewhere there to get a message. That we have all the reason to celebrate with joy because every moment counts, every moment matters. Use me as a vessel to be a mentor to someone under the sound of my voice. Take over in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, my weekly schedule is Monday through Wednesday. I bring inspiration what the Bible says. The Bible says, that's days like today, celebrating in the kitchen. I do different stuff. Then Fridays like tomorrow, putting on the right gear for the weekend. The Gantic scripture will be, with me here, I have pinto beans. This container has pinto beans. Okay? I'm going to what I want to do. Okay? And those pinto beans, allow me to show you, were a big day. That is make me do what I do because <laughs> I use my time. Officially. This big bag of pinto beans, it has dietary fiber. 18%. It has calcium 4%, iron 10%, potassium 5 uh, no 10%. Okay, that being said and done. Here is the scripture that will guide us, okay? You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. And so that wherever you are, whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. That, that is NIV. New Living Translation says, You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. English Standard Fashion. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask, the Father in my name, he may give it to you. I want to say that everything we do in this life, it has a scripture tied to it, if you did not know that. And that's why Joshua was told that the book of the law should not depart from him, but to meditate on it day and night, to make his ways prosperous and have good success. In the kitchen, you are wondering, what does that have to do with what you are doing, Pastor Florence? These are pinto beans. The reason I, that scripture came to my days, I cannot get the pinto beans from that bag and put them into the cooking pot. There's a cooking pot. Okay? I have to choose them. You and I in the world, we were in the world. Christ chose us. The way I have to check, Christ checked what is going on. There are some of these things like pinto beans I cannot boil. I have to choose them. After, after selecting the right ones, I am going to wash after Christ chose us, he cleansed us with his word and the blood. That's why we sing, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow, dam, yeah, yes, dam, Christ chose us. Did you hear the wording? Christ chose you. I'm going to repeat again. You did not choose me, but I chose you. Out of this, he selected us from the world. He selected you from the world of sin. He selected you from where you did not know who you were and appointed you. Now when I select all these beans, I am going to put them in a pot and, you, and cream them. When I wash them, I'm going to boil. You know, the times you have to go through the boiling. You know, the Holy Spirit will come, cleanse us all the more, and give us the revelation. Let me tell you, you've been chosen not just to be there. You've been chosen not just to go to heaven, but to bear fruit that are going to be lasting. That's why I come. 
you know, I don't have to do this. But because I've been chosen to bear fruits, I want a young mother out there to know that there's fiber when you boil pinto beans and you don't have to give your parents junk, your, your, your family junk food. Listen to this. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit. And now me, I am trying to demonstrate this so that you can eat healthy, so that your body will be healthy and you'll be able to go out. You'll be able to send your children where they are, they are healthy in Jesus' name. And then he says that you go and bear fruit that your fruit should abide. Let our health abide. Let us not be the people who support the chemists, the pharmacies. No, because God has given us all this stuff so that we can make use of them. Now, after I do this, I always say making use of every opportunity, using your time wisely. You know, as busy as I can be, I can create time to do what is right for this body that houses the Holy Spirit. Bear with me if you don't see my face all the time. Now, I'm boiling this with a, with, with a big pot. I don't have visitors, but it will help me when I'm busy. I can store it just like the book of Proverbs says that we go to the ant and see how they they work. They do have no... I don't have a, a manager or overseer, but they store their food for the winter in the summer. My summertime is when I have the free time. This may take, it's going to take, when I'm boiling, take two hours. During those two hours, I cannot leave the house. So, of course, I'll be doing other things. Women, we must learn how to multitask. And do it with joy. You can only do it with joy if you know that you've been chosen. You are, I'm not just cooking for my family. I am cooking also for my health. I'm cooking. You, when I cook this, you know what? It is still service. One time, in, in, in many years back, I was talking to one of our pastors of a church I used to go to that. I take even my family as a ministry and my religious ministry. You are wrong. Let me tell you, when you take everything for the glory of God, you are never going to complain. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just rejoicing. And I was even reminded when I was doing this. A song used to sing back home. That they... Hey! When we babide in the word, and because this is so short, since I need to, I need to wash them, so I boil them, and uh, they are boiling for the two hours. I have to be doing other stuff, okay? Because a little slumber, a little folding of the uh, hands, and in laziness, and poverty will come like a leaf. Poverty of your health. So for good health. You must not fold your hands. You must do something. I can't just say I'm going to be doing things or boiling and just sit down. Then I'm also going to put the music. My soul will be edified. I am cooking this. I'll be doing some other stuff before I go to say. The Bible says, may the Lord God bless you. <laughs> Again, this is Pastor Florence. Oh, celebrating in the kitchen. And it's about pinto beans. I When I boil them, I'll be storing them because we can't eat all me. Actually, we are not even going to use it for today. It's not for today. It's for an other times when I'm an, uh, uh, I don't have the time. Put it in the freezer. I don't have to be guilty. I'm busy, busy, busy. There is always something in the house. May the Lord God bless you. I hope you, as a young mother, you are running something. I hope you, as an old mother, you are running something. I hope you, as a working mother, you are running something. I hope, as a minister of the gospel, you are running something. And because... Iron sharpen irons. We sharpen each other. We challenge each other. We build each other. We inspire each other. And then we, we have no choice than just to celebrate every moment. Why? Every moment counts. Every moment matters. Father, I thank you. As I'm going to the other face to boil this, I pray that somebody, somewhere I've run, that you chose us, God. And let us be flexible. You know that you do in our lives to be able to share with other people. I thank you. I pray that somebody will be able to resonate with this word and be closer to you than before and all glory and honor shall be to your name in jesus name amen and amen for me to do all this i do it's because i have a personal relationship with the lord you are there have you ever given your life to the lord i would like to pray with you 
here in the kitchen. You know, like you are my boy, so complicated, but people tend to complicate things. You don't have to be in the sanctuary to be prayed to get saved, even here. Yeah, in the kitchen while we are still celebrating. Maybe you are there, you have never given your life to the Lord. All you have to do is to believe. What do you believe? That Jesus is the Son of God. He died and rose again and will come back again. You believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. So if you are in that category, do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word that has come so clear in a practical way. I know, Jesus, you chose me. Now I come to you. I give my life to you. Help me to grow spiritually and to be able to share your word boldly without fear or shame in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life. And no so looking for a home church near where you live, where the word of God is taught without compromise for your spiritual growth. And together we go this journey in Jesus' name. May the Lord God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to try all this healthy stuff I teach you. Remember to pray for me. How do you pray for Pastor Florence? EGR, extra grace required. So that I can be able to do all these things I do for the glory of God in Jesus' name. God bless you.